Okay, guys, uh, 15 minutes to the close of the market today. April the 20th is Tuesday. Let's see how are we going to close today. Let's go and talk a little bit about the ES. We're going to do a recap on this video for uh, today. A couple of things on the room. So we were able to take a bunch of trades as we, the market was dropping. One of them was uh, with FNGU. As you can see, we did about 1,200 shares today. I still have 300 long, 3261. Currently printing 3318. A little bit going, trying to go above the BWAP. Let's see if we can get it back to 34, 35 going into tomorrow morning. So this is going to be open. Another trade that we have going is a UVXY. UVXY, I posted on Instagram and I posted on uh, uh, on YouTube as well. Uh, let me show you guys what's going on with that trade because that trade is making us pretty nice box. Early this morning, we did uh, sell the $5 calls expiring uh, this coming Friday, right? And we sold them at 33 cents. Uh, you can see it in the room or um, on, on Twitter. So how we just close, I mean, I have... 30 lots, about $900, we sold it at 33 cents, and right after that, you guys were able to capture that again. If, if you guys did not close the trade, I am short 33 cents, here is my entry, um, short 30 lots, let's see how that's going to play out for Friday, that's about $900 that we are going to collect. FNGU, I already told you, I am long, and then I am long on Boeing. Here's the trade that we have going on with Boeing. Uh, we went long 233.42, currently printing 244s already. This is a trade that can give us back the 240, uh, maybe by the end of Friday. That is on Boeing. Uh, TQQs, we have a long trade on TQQ, very small trade that I took, uh, did not add it on the 105. I went long 105.96. Uh, in the previous video, I told you guys to start going long 10450s and add to your trades. Uh, that was a good trade that we did on FNGU. Uh, Wayfair, I closed my trade two times. This was a nice trade from the 300s, 306 back to uh, 315s. If you recall, early on, we went long Wayfair. What was it? I think it was 305, uh, 306.60A. Let me show you. So right here, you can see how we traded Wayfair uh, this morning. We went long 306.68, looking for 315, and we're almost there. We are at 314 and 28 right now on Wayfair. Next trade that we did was the TQQs. I already showed you the Baidu's, the 206, Wayfair long 306.68. Uh, uh, Facebook 297.93 when we went long on that trade. I closed it at through uh, let me see. I closed the trade already looking for a move down to the 305. We did print uh, 305, I believe. Now came to 301, uh, gave me an entry, but my order was here at 300. So I canceled this order. Let's see if I'm gonna get it after hours. Below, we were waiting for the move below the uh, $300, and we took it. So this morning we went long uh, three, three. I mean, what was it? Two ninety-seven, actually. Two ninety-seven. We went long on this. So this was the trade from this morning below forty-one forty for the ES. Look for B, uh, forty-one thirty-six all the way to forty-one twenty-two. Well, the market decided to give us even more. I mean, we saw a 30, I mean, 4110, I believe. So with that, let's go to the ES, which is about to close. We have another 10 minutes to go. Let me get back to ES, currently trading 4128. We have those singles all the way to 4140. Let's see if this is going to play out maybe by uh, tomorrow. Oil, that was another great trade that we did on oil. Beautiful. I am long 63 on my other account. I am long 62.70 on the other account. Right in the money, we talk about the oil cleaning up those singles, and they did. 
So really nice. Let me go to the market profile and show you guys what happens here on oil. Now we left singles. So these are the singles that we left uh, this morning. The ones that I'm talking about are these ones from last Wednesday, right? These were the singles from last Wednesday, this green uh, colored rectangle that I just drew. And these singles were repaired today. I mean, huge move, even went below all the way to 6130 and immediately retraced back to 6260. Now this left, this set of singles, let me get rid of this graphic. Uh, this left the following set of singles to be repaired between uh, what? 6250 all the way to 6327. Currently, we are repairing a little bit of them. Uh, probably let me adjust this for tomorrow for the guys to see it in the room. Uh, did I lock it? Maybe I did lock it. So this is the repair that needs to happen uh, coming in tomorrow morning. We have those singles on oil. Look for the 63, maybe 6360 coming up. Uh, I'll do another video later on tonight for those of you that are on uh, Instagram. I'll be posting another IGTV video about oil, talking about what happened today and what to look for. Tonight, be on the lookup. See if we are going to drop back to this 6170, uh, which is the top of the range from the previous uh, two, three weeks. If we go to this 6175, uh, and start finding value in that area, we might go into those 60s and 59 on oil. But I quite like the move uh, going on today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow we have inventory on oil. So that's what I have for you guys on oil. That's the view, the 360 view uh, on oil currently. Let's go back to the ES printing 4129. It's kind of quiet right after... Uh, uh, the afternoon, I was expecting a, a bigger drop here, but you know, quite simple. We are holding these 41 tens. Um, one thing to know though, and I will tell you this, options for May, someone bought about $1.5 million uh, of inputs for the SPY. About $1.5 million, uh, this was, a, I guess, a, a pretty good, you know, big client, $1.5 million for the SPY 401, okay, for the first week of May. So this gives you uh, 4,010, maybe uh, 4,000 on the ES, which it will be the, the 410 on the SPY, excuse me, the 410 on the SPY. So be on the lookup for that. I, you know, we could start getting some retracement and, and finding some value here. If you recall, this morning video that we posted, uh, we went live um, uh, in YouTube. I told you guys, we have not conducted business in this spike, right? This was the spike of the April the 9th. And until today, uh, we conducted some, some business, right? And we stopped right at this level. So look, look where we're stopping, right? Right at the 4110. The bottom of that spike is 4104. Let's see if we're going to hit it and it started developing value right around this area uh, for those puts to start making money. Uh, now, let me tell you, they bought those puts when the market was at 4140. Uh, the market was over here at 4140 when they were buying those one and a half million dollars uh, with, uh, with puts for the 410 SPY expiring in May. So what to look for tomorrow morning on the ES? We're gonna let them see, uh, we're gonna wait a little bit for the settle. We have five minutes to go. But from what I've seen so far in the markets all throughout the morning is that we are finding value between uh, 4130 and the 4110. So those are the two numbers to start looking for tonight during the Globex session. If we do not hold the 4110 and we start dropping. Remember, we have a target all the way to 4104 and potentially you start uh, maybe going to uh, get value below here, the 4100 into the 4088 number um, for the ES. So be really um, mark your um, charts, okay? And take a look at every single variable. 
I would like to see this getting repaired tomorrow back to the 41 before we drop into the four, uh, you know, 4100s and maybe 4088. So we have these singles. I would like for that to get repaired uh, tomorrow. Maybe we're gonna repair them tonight and then tomorrow morning drop again from the 4140. That's a good potential that we are going to see that as well. Uh, you recall last night, let me expand this, last night, we took, uh, well, I, I took personally 158 to the 163s, I believe. And there were some singles there that we left on Monday, but we have not correct them uh, during the regular trading hours, right? So we might see the same thing happening tonight, right? Overnight, potentially they will repair these singles overnight and then uh, give us the trade tomorrow morning to drop once again the market back to 4104 and eventually print those 4188 number on the ES. We are almost there. We have 90 seconds to go. Let me take a look at my um, the stocks that we have. I have a couple of orders it's still sitting here. Uh, let's, look, uh, let's look at the FNGU, TQQs. Maybe I need to close this TQQ. Let me open in my chart, and there I have it. Let's see. TQQ, FNGU, and Boeing. So nice move, 33.25. I might close this right now, 32.60s. Uh, let, me, let me close it. 33.07. There you go. I'm out of that tray. Let's look at the TQQ. TQQ did not work for me today. I might grab it overnight on the 105, so I'm gonna close it, right? Closing TQQs, closing uh, FNGU, trying to go cash a little bit. Boeing, I took one fifth of my, of my position, so I'm okay with Boeing. I only have 50 shares. Usually I go for two, 300 shares on this, but it's good so far. Uh, we're gonna leave it along, 233, look for the 240s down the road. I'm gonna leave it along for now on that. So FNGU, I'm out. TQQ, I am out. Wayfair, I am out of Wayfair. We're printing 315 right now. So the thing that I have open now, oh, uh, apps. You guys recall I was long apps early on and I did a very nice uh, 6560 put spread on APPS. APPS, I am long, right? I am long uh, $70. I have 100 shares on this uh, company, uh, Digital Turbine. So we'll see if this is going to pop back to this 85 level. This is the target that I'm looking for, between 80 and 85 for Digital Turbine. Uh, having said that, I did uh, a credit spread. So that is the close, guys, on the ES. Let's go back to the ES. I'm so sorry. Uh, 4126 being settled right now in the ES, They're looking good. All right, they expire all my apps. Okay, good, bunch of orders that are expiring. And let's see if tonight, right, in the ES, we start seeing a move. So looking, looking at this trade, we did print some uh, below the 70 uh, on um, Digital Turbine. We did print, actually we are closing right at the 70 number. And if you take this to the daily, I've been talking about it for the past uh, couple of weeks, how we've been trading it. Here is the trade with uh, Digital Turbine. Uh, really nice support that we have on the 70s. Every time we come there, there are buyers and we have this nice consolidation happening uh, since February on Digital Turbine. This is just a nice liquidation, really ordered liquidation happening. And you can see every time we have these liquidations coming on, on board, from hedge funds or from whoever, the next couple of weeks, you see quite the opposite, right? They start buying the stock, buying the stock, buying the stock. So that's what I'm waiting for a digital turbine. Let's see if that's gonna happen next week. I am selling my Friday 6560 put credit spread. I did collect it about 60 cents, I believe. Yeah, 60 cents this afternoon. I believe I took an image from that, let me make sure I have it to show it to you guys. If not, I'll display it on the, uh, I'll display it on the on the uh, on the room. I'll post it on the room. Actually, I have it here. Look at this. There it is. Here it is. So 
I sold uh, 10 lots, 600 bucks, my max profit. I sold 10 of them. This is the 65, 60 put credit spread on digital turbines. So that expired this week, Friday. So let's see if this is going to play out to be a good trade. So far is making me about $250, not bad at all. My trade on um, UVXY currently profiting about 450, which is 50% of the move. I get you, let me go back to that. So here is where we are settling on that transaction. We are settling right at 19 cents. So 50% of the money is there, looking good. Uh, those of you who took it again, I, I did not get out at 19 cents the first time. Some of you guys did, uh, but I sold the 33s right there at the top. Someone of you guys pro probably should have sold this 30 uh, and collect those uh, 15 cents or 12 cents, whatever it is, at the end of the day. So let's go back to the ES quickly today. I did not, last night I traded the ES. Uh, today during the day, I did not. I traded mostly uh, stocks. Look how we're coming back to this 20 level on the ES into cash settlement. Really important today um, during the Globex is, are we going to hold this 4110, right? This is the number to look for Globex tonight. Are we going to hold? that 4110. If we do, okay, great. If we do this, there is a good chance we start uh, drifting a little bit higher and moving into this 4130 number. As of right now, 4130, it is currently a resistance. So those singles are currently a resistance for uh, the ES. Be on the lookup to, um, for tomorrow morning right for tomorrow morning that's the es i have another position on crocs crocs recovered pretty good so this position on crocs i went long 78 and i talked about it right now in youtube um when we were live how this 74 73 was coming really nice uh, double almost triple bottom here uh, during the afternoon to go long so if you guys did listen to that on youtube great this should have given you about a dollar and fifty uh, of gains in about two hours, an hour and a half. Kudos to those of you who took this trade on Crocs. They have earnings uh, at the end of the month, I believe. I did post it in the room. Crocs earnings are coming up when? Crocs, Crocs, here, earnings, uh, April 27, right? So I told you, start looking for longs about 72 bucks and uh, take it to $80. So that would be a nice move for the markets and uh, on the stocks. Some of you guys are trading as stocks. Some of you guys are not. So it's been almost 18 minutes for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have for you guys on the stocks, on oil and on the e-mini. If you guys like what you see in this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment on the video. Hit me up, send me a DM. And please, please don't forget to hit the bell, that little notification so that you get notified when I go live on YouTube. So for now, that's all what I have, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Take care. Peace out. I'll be seeing you guys in the trading room. ESLive8.com.